Hey guys, Big Daddy Hoffman, 1911 coming to you today. And I got a sweet looking shotgun on the table. Look at that. Yeah, a bear's leg. All right, buddy. Tell me what you know about this bad boy. All right, this is the uh, Winchester model uh, 1887. Yep. Um, it made by Chiappa Firearms in Italy. Uh, this one's a real, real nice version with the case hardening on it. They make uh, full size ones for cowboy action shooting. They make a Terminator version that's all black. Um, it's really cool. The uh, whole what I know from about uh, the 1887 is it's designed by John Moses Browning. Uh, Winchester approached him in the uh, 1880s and asked him to design a lever action shotgun just like their lever action guns. Right. And uh, this is what he came up with. Uh, and it's pretty darn cool. Um, it's it's an it's an antique firearm, so it's not going to function just like your regular shot, you know, fire your modern firing arms. But right. you know, this one is made to with modern machining, so it's going to be a higher quality, uh, uh, you know, mare's leg. Um, uh, they did tell us that uh, 99% 99% parts interchangeability between uh, this one and an original. So that's yeah. cool. They they kept it true to form. Yep. So. But well, guys, this one doesn't have a safety on it, you know. Like I said, the modern stuff that we find on, today on the shotgun. It's uh, open the lever up on it. Cool, very cool. Let's look at this. Open it up one more time. Yeah, that's Pick like that. Yeah, that's like steampunk right there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a clock. Yeah, it? it is. It's cool. Very cool. All right, well, let's, let's, uh, let's shoot it, buddy. All right. All right, we're going to use uh, a Brio. Like a bird shot. Yep, it is high brass. Okay. Sometimes you get some functioning uh, issues in there. The lift gate. Uh, it is kind of interesting how it works. You actually have to drop the trigger in order to get the lift gate to come up. Um, so it'll take five in the tube and then one in the chamber. All right. It's kinda... There's a little lift gate right down there that holds it in there. And if I close that and then drop the trigger, you can hear it. See that? Yep. Now it's ready. And you really got to throw that forward, that lever forward to get the lift gate to come all the way up. So. What were you saying about loading this on a horseback? I don't think it would be very, very easy. <laughs> I don't think so either. No. All right, that's going to be five. Uh, I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to lower the hammer. And there we go. Now it's there's not one in the tube, but now that lift gate's going to rise the next time I uh, throw this lever. Now you really got to throw it hard to get that lift gate to pop all the way up. So. All right, this time let's just shoot it with four. Okay. All right. All right. You ready? I think a rubber dummy needs one. No. 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 Oh, he, he looks so pretty no, though. I just put him out there. We're not shooting my new rubber dummy. Like he's crying. Yeah. I'll be crying if you shoot him with that bird shot. <laughs> there you go. Empty. All right. All right. Let me try that. All right. Okay. Here we go. Dead. Let's try this little guy right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Here we go. Let's try this other one. Well, you can see. <laughs> here we go. So it takes some getting used to, guys. Yeah, it's a gun that was designed in 1887. They made no modifications to the design whatsoever, so. The main thing is, is working the lever completely forward and forcefully. So, 
I'm empty right now, so we can't drop the trigger on it. It's got a half cock here too. Cool. All right, let's load it back up again. All right, how many you got in there, buddy? Five, I think. Okay. All right, this time I'm just going to sort of focus on the shotgun, okay? Okay. All right, let's see how you do with it. Rubber dummy? No. Oh! 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 -ho. So what happened to you too, eh? It's pulling it too hard. You were going too fast. That could be it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the fit and finish in there is amazing. Well, it is a, this is what I call a piece of history, you know? It is. If you want to go out on the range and, and have the uh, kind of experiences they did back in the Old West with the, but that was a, sure beat the, uh, you definitely had an advantage over the guys that had a, you know, a double barrel shotgun, you know? Yeah. All right, guys, we had some fun with this. Um, I'm really glad I got to uh, shoot one of these. I want to thank uh, Kiapa for providing this for us. And it is what it is, guys. Uh, it's a piece of history. It's, I, I wouldn't suggest it for, you know, home protection. But it is something to get out on range and have some fun with. Uh, the model 1887. So we're going to list what information we have underneath the video on this. And go check it out. And uh, but I do like to fit and finish. It, it is just pretty. But it, you know, as far as functionality, you know, you're gonna have your glitches with something like this because it's old technology. You know, so and no safety. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And uh, if you do like, please like, favor, and subscribe. Remember to keep up to fight against gun control, guys. If you want to support the channel, visit HoffmanFirearms.com and maybe pick up a rubber dummy we've got some cool stuff coming on there so check it out as always remember big daddy loves you hoorah take care all right we got two rounds left you think yeah So you think we were doing it too hard? Perhaps. So you're saying, I said we had to forcefully. Yeah. And you're saying yeah, we have to baby it. Yeah, to baby it. No. I don't know. I don't think either one of us knows what we're doing. No, definitely not. <laughs> All right. <laughs>